Hey guys, Keith here. I uh, just wanted to show you a couple different designs here on these little pocket holsters. I've got a Ruger LCP 380. Weapon is clear. No magazine. Uh, sorry about the video. It doesn't want to focus on this pink here. It's really, really bright. Um, but one of the problems I've run into in making these I've got some that the Kydex folds from the top down over the weapon and then some that fold from the bottom by the trigger guard uh, over the weapon. And what I've run into is if you get a really good press and you get a really tight bend radius on the bottom of these things, what can happen is where the kydex flexes to let go of the weapon will actually start to tear. Now, when this one started out, you could just barely see anything, and there's not very many draws with this holster, and you can already see how far it's, it's began to rip. Um, so this design if you can keep the gun a little further away and get this bend radius a little bit larger so that it's not as tight, you won't have any issues with it tearing. Now, this was the first one that I ever made and I actually carry this on a daily basis. Um, keep it in my pocket every day. And you can see the weapon here, there's really not anywhere around the trigger guard where it actually holds on to the weapon and slides across it to release it. However, where it has been in my pocket, you can see there's more wear on the slide than there is around the trigger guard from the kydex. So as long as you're keeping your kydex nice and clean, washing it out once a week, maybe a little bit more, keeping the dust and debris out of it. Uh, you really shouldn't have an issue with it really doing that much wear on your weapon. Now these other designs, or other design I should say, like I said, actually bends from the top. I'm a lot happier with this design here. You can get some really good flicks from the Kydex. And you don't have to worry about anything there's not a lot of stress on that radius right there. You get really good positive lock on the weapon. I mean, you can get some really good definition in there. And you're not going to have to worry about the Kydex uh, damaging. And these here, like I said, hold really well. And... do an awesome job at holding the weapon. Now this here, uh, when I make them, I put about three feet of paracord. So you can put this down in your pocket, run this up to your belt loop, and that way when you draw the weapon, you can keep pulling the gun, the holster will stay in place, and you're ready to rock and roll. So these here, they all work the same. And what I'm doing with these is I'm actually trying to leave, if you can see, a little bit of a triangle right here. And what that's for is if you go to draw your weapon and for one reason or another, this paracord fails, whether the knot comes undone or, you know, or say just over time in your pocket, so you haven't kept up with it and it's actually frayed, say it rips. This little notch here on the back allows you to catch the gun on the bottom of your belt or maybe on the back of a heel, something like that, where you can still draw the weapon. So if the paracord fails, you still have a way to get the holster off the gun. Um, 
Of course, that is if your other hand is tied up holding your child, holding, you know, something else where you cannot use this other gun, be it it's injured or what have you. This here allows you to catch the holster and still draw the gun. So that's why we've left that as tall as it is there. So I just wanted to go over those and uh, show those to you if you're maybe in the market to buy one or uh, if you're making these, just a little something that I've run into and uh, have had some issues with. Um, if you're interested in buying one of these, uh, you can get in contact with me directly at shadowconcealment at gmail.com or um, you can actually, a buddy of mine is selling these on his website for me. Uh, you can go to www.rtfguns.com. Um, that's Mark. Uh, he's a really good guy. There's a lot of, a lot of good gunsmithing stuff. Uh, he'll re-blue stainless, refinish his guns. Um, so check him out. Um, he's got a lot of good stuff on his website and um, be sure to check him out also kind of in the works i'll just show this real quick this is a rough prototype uh, doesn't work quite like i want it to it's a little pocket holster for magazine for 380 well, lcp the same gun here um, i just made this a, about an hour ago uh, really rough prototype um, I thought I was going to get some good retention with the rivets where they were. However, I'm not. I'm going to have to make this top piece a little bit wider. Uh, it just allows too much flex in the back with this leather here. Uh, so, I'm going to have to go back to the drawing board on this one. Uh, but the two hooks, what that allows it to do is it will go down into the pocket. And with it being this wide, the magazine is going to stay standing straight up. It's not going to turn sideways on you. So you're wondering which way your magazine's going to be laying if you need it. Um, then when you go to grab it, pull it out, whether it be in your left or right pocket, the hook, of course, is going to catch the inside of your pocket. Magazine comes out. You're ready to reload. So that's a little something we got in the works there. Also, I finished this up today. I've got a CRKT Ultima. A little sheath for it. I don't have any attachments on it yet. I'm not sure how I want to set this one to either attach to a belt or maybe do some molly clips. I'm not sure. So. There's something else we've been working on. So, but if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below, and uh, we'll get back to you as soon as we can. Thanks, guys.